Namaste. I am Bonsori Bliss founder, Dr. Carrie Krieger. Welcome to this YouTube Live. I'm going to be teaching Rag Vachaspati, an evening Raga. Let me just prepare this right here and I'll type it in here. Chat in your questions. So if you do have questions, go ahead and chat them in and I'll check this chat box every now and then to see what's going on. All right, so we're going to be playing Rog Vacha Spotty. Let me just go ahead and play for a little bit, and that'll give people some time to join in here, and I'll get warmed up, and you'll start to hear the notes of this Raga and of the scale Vacha Spotty. <laughs> Welcome everyone to YouTube Live, and I have been playing some Vacha Spotty, and thanks for being here. If you have any questions, put them in the chat box. Go ahead, also feel free, chat in where in the world are you? Let me know where you're at. So, I'm going to teach some Vacha Spotty, that's what I've been playing. Let's start out, or most importantly, let's uh, learn the scale. So... To let you know, I'm playing on my F flute. I call this my F flute. It's actually tuned to the saw, three holes closed, is at F plus 12 cents. So that's a unit of pitch cents. So it's 12% of the way to the next note up, which is F sharp. Okay, so it's F plus 12. And why do I say that? Because our scale is Vacha Spati. The flute is an F flute. The flute doesn't have a scale. I can play hundreds of scales on this flute. We're going to play Vacha Spati. So let's go ahead and learn Vacha Spati. And three holes closed, that's saw. Next note, 
should Ray, our natural second, and then should Ga, natural third, and then Tivrama, okay? A sharp fourth. Now, why have I taken my hand completely off the flute? Note, I'm not playing it like this. Some people, especially beginners, they don't ever lift this finger off the flute. It's like locked to the flute, that top index finger. I want it off the flute. I don't want it here because it, it will block the, the air coming out of that hole and it will affect the pitch. And there's just no reason. Like, I know you're strong enough to lift your finger. You can do that. I'm sure you can. So get your finger off the flute completely. How are you going to balance your flute when you're playing T Verma if you don't have fingers down? You've got four points of contact. One right here at the chin, one right here on the thumb, the left thumb, and then the right thumb. And then I almost always have this pinky down. That's my fourth point of contact. So that when I'm playing T Verma, I can move my flute around. It's not going to fall out of my hands or anything, okay? I like having that down here most of the time. Okay, so recap. We've just played the lower tetrachord. Okay, a tetrachord is one half of the octave. All right, the octave is starting at sa. is going to be from sa up to high sa, or from F in the third octave of a piano up to the fourth octave. Okay, so... A tetrachord is sa re ga ma, and then I call that the lower tetrachord. The higher tetrachord will be the notes that contain pa da mi sa. Okay, so but we haven't gotten there yet. So recap: lower tetrachord notes sa re ga ti ver ma. All right, if you've just joined, we're playing vacha spati. Those four notes right there, we could describe it by saying. The lower tetrachord is like Kalyan, because Kalyan, Sa, Re, Ga, Ti, Verma. Now let's move up to the upper tetrachord, Pa. All right, the second most important note in music universally. What's the first most important note in music? Sa, okay? The most important note in Indian classical music, and I'll say any music. Second most important note is Pa, okay? So we're gonna play conceptually at six holes closed. But in reality, our middle paw, we usually want this top finger up. It can be partly up, but make sure it's not down. The vast majority of the time, it should be up like this. So if you always play your paw like that, now low paw will have to be everything closed. But middle and high paw, you want this finger up. It'll sound better. The pitch will be better. The tone will be better. And you will be happy that you trained yourself to do that. Okay, so let's... Keep on moving. There's pa, and then da. That is a should da. That's our natural sixth. And then we've got a comal knee. So look, partly closed, partially closed. What part of the hole? My my flute. It's the part of the hole towards the bottom of the flute that gets open. So I roll my finger up a bit. Okay. Some people kind of go like that. So it's the part of the hole facing the audience that's open. Whatever you do. Make sure it's comal. It should be kind of serious sounding, okay? And not a should me. We're gonna play comal knee, all right? So pa, da, comal knee, and then high sa. So let's do it. Continuous breath. Consciously, continuously breathe outwards. Especially when you go from T Verma to Pa. If you're a beginner Bonsori player, by unconsciously, you will probably stop breathing. You will break the music. The music will completely stop when you cross from T Verma over to Pa. You don't want to do that. You want to continuously blow outward. Now, if you need to take a breath, you need to take a breath. But by habit, Unless you need to take a breath, you should be breathing outwards, consciously, continuously breathing outwards. If you do want to take a breath, 
that's fine. And that'll make sense to do it between the Tevermon and Pock, because that's the halfway point. Okay? But don't always do that. Make sure you can play all the way up in a single breath. Let's do it now. Let's just go real slow. I'll play Sa Re Ga Tevermon in one breath. I'll take another deep breath, and then I'll play Pa Da Como Mi Hai Sa. Consciously take a deep breath. That's the Arohi, the ascending scale. Now let's play the descending scale, the Avarohi. It's just the same thing in reverse. We're going to take a deep breath, and then we're going to play from high saw. High saw, komo ni, should da, pa, tivrama, should ga, should re, sa. Sani da pa maga re sa. The knee is Komal, the Ma is Tivra. If I don't specify whether a note is Tivra or Komal or should, then you can assume it should. Okay, Sa and Pa, there's only one variety of each of those notes. So the Sa and Pa are only going to be Sa and Pa. The other notes have different varieties. We're using Should Re, Should Ga, Tivra Ma, Pa, Should Da, Komal Ni. So let's descend. Sa ni da pa ma ga re sa. Komo ni. Tiver ma. play a little bit slower and I am going to play the upper tetrachord sani da pa in one breath then I'm going to take a breath and then I'm going to play the lower tetrachord maga re sa tiver ma Once you think you have the notes, and if any of those notes don't come out smoothly, clearly, cleanly, nice tone, consistently, you need to practice the note and not just the whole scale. So that means pick the note. Is it pa? A lot of beginners are not going to be able to play pa very well because if you don't close every hole perfectly, then the sound's not going to come out. So if one of your notes is not coming out, maybe it's comal knee because you're not used to comal notes. Then just play that one note for a minute, okay? Maybe longer so that it comes out and you get used to the sound of it and how hard you have to close your fingers. All right, once you can play the scale though, then add in some rhythm. You don't have to turn on your tuba machine. You don't have to have a tuba player behind you, but you can use your internal rhythm and try to play it all the way up and all the way down keeping the beat okay you can tap your knee tap your foot just lightly not a lot if you want to you don't have to do that let me see if any uh questions have come in here and thanks everyone all right hello john tv from nepal how's it going all right so if you have questions send them in go ahead chat in where in the world are you too let me know where you're at all right so we got me Nepal represented Rasham Phoebe D. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm going to play this Vacha Spati scale and give it a little bit of, I'll give it a beat. Thank you. 
right? I was changing it up a little each time. You don't have to ornament it at all. You don't have to tongue it. You shouldn't tongue it until you can first just play it nice, smoothly. Don't use your tongue at all. Just consciously, continuously breathe outwards, which you should also do usually when you're tonguing, but that's another lesson. So, which there will be another lesson coming up soon. If you're not on the Bonsuri Bliss electronic newsletter, then definitely go to bonsuribliss.com, sign up for the newsletter. You want to uh, email me, you can do that. Send it to contact at bonsuribliss.com and I will add you to the newsletter so that you hear when I'm doing YouTube lives, when I'm doing other um, Bonsuri lessons that you can attend. And if you really want to learn the Bonsuri, bamboo flute and classical music of Northern India, then I encourage you to become a member of Bonsuri Bliss so that you get full access to Bonsuri Bliss Academy and the hundreds of lessons, yes, hundreds of lessons that I have added to the online courses on the Bonsuri Bliss website exclusively accessed by Bonsuri Bliss members. Also, we have regular two to three times a week lessons on Zoom that you can join when you are a Bonsuri Bliss member. So definitely become a member. Send me an email, contact at bonsuribliss.com. I am Bonsuri Bliss founder, Dr. Kerry Krieger. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my Tubla machine. Uh, I'm using iOS, so I have iTubla Pro. And I'm just going to play the scale up and down. That's what you should do. Is that boring? Not if you uh, keep doing it long enough, okay? You'll learn a lot doing it. You can, as you'll see what I'm going to do, I'm going to start changing it up. And I'm going to improvise on it while keeping, essentially, just playing the scale up and down. Here we go. I've got my tubla in teen tall, 16 beat rhythm, 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. And I've got it at, I believe, 88 beats per minute. And that's correct, 88 beats per minute. Some two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Some is the first beat, and then Kali is the ninth beat. That's the halfway point. That took up one cycle. It was eight beats up, eight beats down. One note to a beat, which is called bar bar key lie. I'll do it again. I doubled the speed, so two notes per beat, and I played the scale up, the scale down, twice in one cycle. Here it goes again. I did that all in one breath, consciously, continuously breathing outwards. If you need to take a breath, take a breath. If you don't need to take a breath, probably don't take a breath. Sa re re ga ma pa da da ni sa sa ni ni da pa ma ga ga re sa. All right, so there I was introducing tonguing slightly changing the rhythm but still just doing scale up and scale down let's tongue every single note
Towards the end, I was using gummick, ornamentation, and tonguing. Okay, so as we've just seen in the last few minutes, it's just the scale up and the scale down, but look how many different ways we can come up with to practice it. And we can practice our ornamentation, we can practice our tonguing, we can practice doubling our speed, halving our speed, etc. So I could go on for a long time just playing scales, and that's what you should do as well. All right, so we're coming to an end of this. If you have a question, chat it in. If you've enjoyed this, chat it in. Go hit the like button. would be great, too. And uh, if you've never watched a Bonsuri Bliss lesson, I encourage you definitely subscribe to the Bonsuri Bliss YouTube channel. And I have probably at least 100 videos up there, of which probably 60 or 70 of those are lessons. So definitely Start watching those lessons if you haven't. And um, I'll just close this out. I'm gonna double the speed. Here's another thing you can do. We've been playing at 88 beats per minute. So let's just, I'm just gonna keep playing the scale up and down, but I'm gonna double the speed of the tubble. Now we're at 176 beats per minute. And I'll just play the scale, but I'll be changing it up. just now I was varying my volume okay so we can change our volume that's another form of improvisation last cycle that I played that's a hint of what my next Vacha Spotty lesson on YouTube live is going to be so I'm gonna I'm gonna end it right there I am Bonsuri Bliss founder Dr. Kerry Krieger encouraging you to send me an email if you've been on here let me know you were on here contact at bonsuribliss.com I'll make sure you get on the newsletter and if you have any questions send them to me and I'll make sure you know when the next YouTube live is happening So on that note, enjoy your Bonsuri plane and namaste. Bye.